Here on the Indian Political League, let's get you all the latest with regards to the nominations that were filed today, last day for phase one. And in Maharashtra, with several seats going into polls on uh, April 19th, one of them is the seat of Nagpur. And I'd like to bring in Rithvik Balikar on this broadcast. Rithvik, we saw earlier today Nitin Gadkari holding a mega roadshow and then going ahead and filing his nomination. He's seeking a third term. And there was endless speculation on whether he'd be given a ticket in the seat of his choice or not. That has been clearly ironed out. And this is his stronghold. So it should be an easy battle for Gadkari. Uh, absolutely, uh, Akshita, we can say that uh, it is uh, an easy battle, but uh, Nagpur being a VVIP seat uh, because uh, Vivek Thakre is uh, being contested from Congress against Nitin Gadkari and another uh, important seat from Vidarbha in the first phase which uh, the nominations has been filed is Ramtek. Uh, MLA from Congress has left Congress and joined Ekna Shinde's Shiv Sena and he has filed nomination from Shiv Sena from Ramtek against uh, uh, the Congress candidate. So, uh, Gadchiroli Chimur and then uh, Chandrapur are uh, the other two seats uh, from the first phase from where uh, Sudhir Mungantiwar, minister and the core committee okay. member of BJP state leadership has filed nominations today. So, uh, the first phase uh, we saw that how BJP did a show of strength uh, as Nitin Gadkari was seen uh, in a road show and uh, all the CM, DCM had accompanied him and showed uh, Mahayuti uh, led Grand Alliance in full strength there. All right, we'll track what happens in Maharashtra as well come April 19. Thanks very much, Ritpik, for joining us with all of those details. Nagpur is a seat, a high-profile one that everyone will be watching out for.